If I was to say that I didn't have a normal childhood and that I just been through a lot, I think that that's not enough because I've experienced emotional abuse, physical abuse, and sexual abuse, and I was brainwashed to think that these things were okay because I didn't know any better. There's a big stigma that kids in foster care are troubled. I kind of want to redefine what foster youth is. I always believed I was going to go to college. When I was told that I wouldn't make it, when I was told that I would be nothing, there was always this little hope and belief in myself, and I would say, I'm going to make it, you know, I don't know how, because I didn't have the resources, or I didn't have no one to tell me what to do. Thankfully, I came to, I finally came to ACE, and I was like, I don't have money for food. And you know, they gave me a $50 card. But even when I was here, I still didn't believe in myself. And it took definitely sitting down with my advisors and my mentors and them giving me advice and telling me, you can do it, you know, you're so strong, you know, you've been through so much, you can do it. And if it wasn't for them, I honestly wouldn't be in my fourth year. When I see a donor donating to someone like me, it makes me happy because they're not focusing on my past mistakes or the experiences that I've gone through. They're looking and they're believing in me. And I think that we all want validation in life, but I think as a former foster youth and through the emotional abuse that I've gone through, knowing that someone can believe in me way before that I, I believe in myself, I think that that definitely shapes how I see myself. And I'm going to get somewhere no matter who tells me I can't because I have a line of mentors and future mentors that will be there and support me along the way. I can remember like it was yesterday sitting in the doctor's office telling me that I wasn't gonna be able to see again. And this was literally devastating news to myself and to everyone around me. The life I knew was wiped right before my eyes literally and figuratively speaking. I fell into a really, really deep depression, a depression where I didn't care about my life. I eventually got into a couple of rehabilitation programs to learn and live and function without my sight. Speaking to the counselors there and them letting me know that I was going to be able to try to get back into school. The way that I learn is the same exact curriculum that all my sighted counterparts are doing. So at Cal State San Marcos, I feel that this campus, the organization as a whole is such a good fit for me. I mean, I really couldn't do this without that, that support team or that support system just pushing me to getting closer, one step closer to my ultimate goal, which is graduating with a master's degree. My hope is when I have this degree that it will just give me more tools to be able to do what I really want to do, which is continue to become a, a great motivational speaker. I couldn't even imagine myself doing these things right now without any without any sight it, it's just a, a crazy thought i've currently been on the u.s vision pair judo team and traveled with the with the u.s team i've won two world championships in brazilian jiu-jitsu through the sport jiu-jitsu international federation it wasn't against other blind people it was against sighted people. The cool thing about it is I just did it with my eyes closed. It's such a great feeling that I can do the same thing that you can do just with my eyes closed and if not do it good, do it better than you. With these scholarships, it, it's a really fine line of just being such a blessing because there are people that are behind these scholarships. That is the best feeling that you could you could feel is someone that doesn't even know you is believing in you. The students now are going to be our future. So when you're put, donating these dollars, donating this money to scholarships, you're not just donating to a college fund or an education. You're you're donating to to our futures. I have a favorite saying. 
Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're finished. And I'm not finished yet. <laughs>